Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into some free alternatives for note-taking apps. So if you want to take notes, you want to build a second brain, but you're not looking for a paid solution, uh, there might be some great alternatives uh, in today's video that you can test out. I have tried to include applications that are free for personal use, but I will uh, dive a little into the pricing because some of them do offer paid plans. But the main point of this video is to show you applications that can be uh, fully functional without paying for the application. So let's just jump right into the first one. So I was a little reluctant to include this one on the list because it is an Apple uh, application. I know that it is available through, um, through uh, the web, through iCloud in the web, but it just isn't as good. Uh, and I have a MacBook, I have an iPad, I have an iPhone. So in my case, this could be a great option, but I totally understand that if you have a Windows PC and an iPhone or you have an Android phone and a Mac or an Android and a Windows PC, this just isn't an option. But I wanted to quickly mention it since it is just so fast and easy to use on your iOS devices. It is probably the fastest application and I find myself like jumping to this to um, write things down whenever I'm in a hurry uh, and then I move them later. So uh, Apple Notes is a really great application uh, that can be used as a fully functional second brain and you can even organize it through folders on the left side right here. So this is a great option if you are inside of the Apple ecosystem. Apple Notes is one of my favorite applications and it is totally free and it is uh, available on all of your uh, Apple devices. Uh, I haven't actually seen if it is available on the Apple Watch, but uh, on the Mac, uh, iPad and iPhone it is available. I will uh, need to double check my Apple Watch later. I've never used it to take notes but uh, it is available on the, most of your iOS devices and it is a great option if you are inside of the Apple ecosystem. But let's say you're not inside of the Apple ecosystem. Now what options do you have? One of your probably best options is actually an application called Obsidian. And Obsidian is a really powerful application that revolves around two things. The first one is this interconnected graph you can see right here where you can connect all of your notes and different ideas together to create this web of knowledge. That's like the first thing. Uh, and the second thing is actually the plug-in ecosystem that allows you to um, to uh, create whatever you want out of Obsidian, which is really, really cool. So uh, if I just jump into one of my YouTube video ideas, I think this is one. This is a social media idea. So here I'm using a plugin in order to build myself a database. Uh, that's actually what all of this is a little simply put but if you want databases if you want task management if you want something else you can actually build everything inside of here uh, with the plugin ecosystem a really powerful application especially for researchers and a lot of developers also do love this it is markdown based uh, so it might take you a while to understand everything but markdown is actually quite easy to learn uh, and once you get the hang of it, it is really easy to use. So a bit of a learning curve to it, not as simple as something like Apple Notes. And I chose to include it even though syncing will cost you some money uh, to sync between devices because you can use third party sync in order for it to sync between your devices. I actually used iCloud Drive to sync this to my Windows computer, my Mac, as well as my iPhone. Uh, so it worked quite well. I know that things like Dropbox, for example, can work. So you can use a uh, third party uh, sync in order for this application to sync across your devices. And then it is 
free, uh, you might have to pay a little bit if you uh, exceed a certain limit, but you can actually use everything for free inside of this. Obsidian is really powerful and it stores all of your files locally on your device, which is great. You have full control of your files. You decide how to back it up. You own the files. You can easily move them. So many great things about Obsidian. But let's say you're not into long form writing. You want to take shorter notes. A great application for that is called LogSec and I haven't downloaded it for my Mac simply because I don't like bullet points. I don't like outliner applications. I think they are really good. Uh, it's not that they just don't work for my brain, but similarly to Obsidian and uh, that's why I'm just showing you the website because it is uh, modeled off of Obsidian. Uh, so similarly to Obsidian, files are stored locally. You can actually use both LogSec and Obsidian and open the same files across uh, the two applications since both use Markdown files. But you also have the plugin system that allows you to uh, create whatever you want. So if you want task management, you can have that as well. You can have sort of databases and everything. Uh, everything you want, you can create like a lot of different plugins that uh, you can use and create almost whatever you want not as extensive as the plugin ecosystem inside of obsidian but still extensive enough for you to create almost uh, everything you need LogSec also offers PDF annotation. Uh, they offer whiteboards, which uh, Obsidian does as well, and they offer flashcards. Uh, all of those are actually, a, you are actually able to find them within the application. Uh, I think even without installing any additional plugins, those will be available for you. But again, just like Obsidian, you have a bit of a learning curve and you actually have to install plugins uh, in order for uh, the application to work exactly as you want but let's say you would love something like notion a database style which i know a lot of people use uh, or a lot of people use obsidian to create databases but let's say you want that natively in the application you're still willing to learn and privacy is still important to you there is a free option here as well this application might be a great option because it is similar to something like obsidian and uh, logsec in a way because it stores all of your files locally so Think of this as a blend between something like Obsidian and Notion. It looks like Notion. It feels a little bit like Notion. It has the same like block based structure and databases, but it is uh, very different. There are two main reasons for why this is different. The first one is that any type is object based, which is a new uh, framework in note taking, which I will come back to later in this video. Um, and the second reason is that it um, stores all of your files locally. It is highly privacy focused, which uh, Notion is not. Uh, and it uh, also offers an encryption key for you uh, in order to access your accounts with the spaces. Uh, the way this basically works is that you have these uh, databases that I know a lot of people love. So here you can see one of my databases right here. Uh, this is for content and filming content. Here you can see uh, a lot of different things and you can actually jump into these and write. Uh, so you have databases and there are two types. One is called sets, one is called collections. I will link to my... Um, to my AnyType um, playlist so you can check out AnyType and everything it has to offer. And if you want to learn the application, that is a great place to start. But it also has like the most beautiful graph view I've ever seen in an application. Uh, it is really, really beautiful. Uh, and like when you hover over, you can actually see how things are connected. So. I am a founder of this clothing brand and 
just to show you another example like the bodyguard the movie it is a movie and uh, kevin costner is the director uh, whitney houston is a star in the movie same goes here daniel radcliffe uh, appeared in harry potter and the half blood prince so i haven't done everything inside of here perfectly because this is uh, mainly a space i use to show off my youtube videos but uh, just in general it is a really beautiful graph view and that is also uh, this also actually explains object based note taking really well because everything is an object so kevin costner is a human the bodyguard is a movie um Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince is a movie, um, this is a task, uh, this is apps, uh, so everything is like an object. Any type will have a learning curve to it, and object-based note-taking might take you a while to understand. I'm actually planning to do a whole dedicated video on object-based note-taking, so stay tuned for that, and if you haven't done so already, please do hit the subscribe button if it isn't up there, I think it's down here somewhere, but please do hit it if uh, my uh, videos actually gave you something, if they were informative and you enjoyed watching them. I will be very happy to see you again, uh, but uh, pricing wise, any type is free for personal use. They have paid plans, but that is more for like collaborating. So if you want to work with others and work in a team, you might need to pay for the Pro plans. But let's say you just want a simple place to write things down and you're not in the Apple ecosystem. Well, I'm going to show you one of my favorite applications to actually write things down. You might have figured it out when I said write things down. This uh, application is called Twos, and Twos is the simplest one on the list. It is really, really simple. The idea here is that you write your thoughts, ideas, everything that matters to you, you write inside of this. You can either choose to write them in your daily pages. That's actually what I do because I use this as more of a bullet journal to remember like thoughts, ideas, feelings, uh, and things that have bothered me. I just write them down here to get an overview of how I've felt over a week when I do my weekly review. I also struggle a little bit with like remembering how i felt about something so twos actually helps me for uh, that it is really vital to uh, my mental health it has become really vital uh, for my mental health so and that's what i mainly use it for but you can actually use this as a full-fledged note-taking app i have taken book notes inside of here like with day trading attention a book by gary vaynerchuk or the creative act which is an amazing book if you haven't read it i do recommend it so uh here i have a lot of things i also have like uh youtube thumbnail inspo i think i have here uh this is actually from one of my own YouTube videos, so you can save images here. There are a bunch of things you can save here. You have uh, the calendar view, which shows you when you've taken notes. Um, this is my uh, this is my like demo account. I don't use this account to actually write things in. I just use it to show off or to use for YouTube videos. Uh, you can have like I have social media ideas here. Um, you can see that 44 are completed. So there are a, a bunch of things you can do inside of Tuse. It is really simple, but it can become more complex if you want it to. Another great option if you're like looking for a, a way to take notes, but you, for example, like to use a stylus or an Apple Pencil a lot, is actually Microsoft OneNote, which is an application that people do not talk enough about. I know that Tiago Forte recently released a video with a OneNote expert that uh, showcased all of the things you can actually do with OneNote. Uh, and I feel like OneNote is like uh, similarly to uh, something like uh, Tuse. Uh, really easy to start off with but it can grow with you and become more complex i like the downloaded version a lot better i haven't actually tried it on a mac i have tried it on a, a ipad as well as my windows pc and it is just so good it offers 
a lot of things. Uh, it offers styluses. It is great if you do a lot of math equations. So many different things you can do inside of uh, inside of here. It is a beautiful application, easy to use, but also uh, it will grow with you and you can connect it to things like uh, Microsoft Outlook. And it also works with, uh, I think it works with Microsoft Loop now. It is supposed to do at some point. I'm just not sure if it does yet. So you can have Loop components inside of here as well. There are many different things you can do uh, with OneNote that I can't go too much into because I am on the web version. But uh, you look at a page uh, which seems like a uh, just a page, but this isn't actually a page. It is an infinite canvas. This can get as big as you want. And you have great organization inside of here. One of the best uh, web clippers I've seen and also great OCR. So you can save images and actually search for images or you can write uh, with a stylus and you can actually search for your writings. And it even worked with my handwriting and I can't even read my own handwriting. It didn't do a perfect job, but it worked. Uh, so it did a good enough job for me to be impressed. So I highly recommend this. And if you live inside of the Microsoft ecosystem there, isn't much question. This is one of the best applications if you're looking for a free one. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching.